Hello science students, this is part one of weather mapping. Today we're going to be recording station models on a weather map and then using those station models to forecast the uh, upcoming weather uh, on part two. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the station models, recording those on the weather map. For this assignment, you're going to need your weather map, which is right in front of you. You're going to need a weather mapping worksheet, number one, and you're going to need the station model reference guide that I have here. The first thing, and the, probably the hardest thing about station models are that you have to convert from miles per hour to knots. And you'll notice that there are many 15 to 20 mile an hour um, weather readings and there are three three to eight mile per hours and two nine to fourteen mile per hours and one twenty one through twenty five mile per hours so what we're going to do is we're going to get we're going to do all that converting right off the, off the bat so that we can get that finished and we're going to use our conversion table at the bottom of uh, our weather station our station model reference guide and the first one we're going to do is the 15 to 20 mile, mile an hour winds. If you look at the upper end of that, which is 20 miles an hour, you'll see that that's about 16, 17 knots. Now, knowing that we only make our flags every 5 knots, we go by 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so on. So if we're having 20 mile an hour winds, that's it's about 16 knots, which is, we round to 15 knots. So we're going to write that under every one of the 15 to 20 mile an hour winds. We're going to write 15 knots. Okay, so that's finished. Next one, we're going to convert the 25 mile an hour uh, reading. And if you look here, 25 mile an hour wind is about 21 knots, but we're going to round it to 20. Okay, the next thing is our t 9 to 14 mile an hour wind. 14 mile an hour or is just short of 15 mile an hour. Uh, that lines up almost exactly with the 10 knots, so we're going to convert those. And the last one is the 3 to 8 mile per hour winds. Those are right here. We have uh, 10 mile an hour. Just short of that is 8. And that lines up almost exactly with the five knots right here. Okay? And so we'll write that on the three to eights. Okay, so all of that is done. Now we're going to start recording our uh, weather, uh, our station info. We're going to start with Dodge City, Kansas, which is cloudy and 59 Fahrenheit, a barometric pressure of 29.3, and a west-southwest wind direction. So Dodge City is going to be right here. It has a small circle already, but we're going to make that a little larger so that we can see it. Uh, it is cloudy, so we fill in that circle. We Next thing we look is the wind direction, which is west-southwest, which means west of southwest. So here's southwest. West of that is going to be towards this corner of Texas right here. We're just going to make that there. We have 15 knots, which means you have a flag and a half, a full flag for 10 knots and a half a flag for 5. Our temperature is 59 Fahrenheit. We just record the temperature, not the units. And our barometric pressure is 29.3. We just record that, 293, without the decimal point. And we are finished with Dodge City. The next one, we're going to go south to Oklahoma City. That is partly cloudy, so half of it's filled in. 
Then we're going to, we have a flag. Um, our wind is coming from the south, so we're going to draw it straight down towards Fort, Fort Worth. It's coming at 20 knots, so 20 is two tens, so we have two large flags. Our temperature is 73, and our barometric pressure is 29.7, but we leave off the decimal point. The net, and that makes us finished with Oklahoma City. Our next one is Dallas, Texas, so we follow this flag almost straight down. Right here is Dallas, just uh, east of Fort Worth. Make our circle. It is partly cloudy, so we fill in part of our circle. Uh, we will, our wind direction is south, southwest, so here's south, there's west. It's going to be south of southwest, here's southwest, south of that would be kind of towards Austin. Our wind is 15 knots, so it's going to be 10 for a full flag and 5 more for a half a flag. Our temperature is 74, and our barometric pressure is 29.8. Uh, we don't put the decimal point. Okay, and that means Dallas, Texas is finished. The next one we have is Lubbock, Texas. If you come here to the uh, oh, stovepipe cap or whatever of Texas here, uh, you just go shortly uh, south of that, you find Lubbock. Make our circle. It is raining in Lubbock, so we're going to fill in our circle. Cloud conditions covering the sky. Uh, it's our wind direction is west northwest, so north and west, so it's west northwest, and that means our flagpole is going to be pointing towards Albuquerque. Our wind speed is 15 knots, and so we have one and one half flags. Our temperature is 59. And our barometric pressure is 29.7, which means 2, 9, or 7. And don't forget, it is rainy, so we need to put the dot below the temperature that shows rain. And we're done with Lubbock. Next, we go to Denver, Colorado. Here's Kansas. One state over to the left is Colorado. And you, it's hard to see, but that's Denver at the top. It's kind of smudged. And we're going to make that clear. And our wind direction is northwest. So here's north and there's west. So it's going to kind of point towards Rock Springs. Our wind is 15 knots. So again, we have one and one half flag, flags for a 10 and a 5. Our temperature is 43. And... Our barometric pressure is 29.8, so we have two niner eight. And Denver, Colorado is finished. Now we're going to Little Rock, Arkansas. And here for this one, we kind of need to know, we see a chef. We have his hat, we see his face, we see his upper body, his lower body, his boots. And here you have the platter, and then here's his chicken. And this is Kentucky, so it's Kentucky Fried Chicken. So we're going to go to Little Rock, and Little Rock is right here on his lower body. And it is partly cloudy, so we're going to fill in half of it. And the wind is coming from the south-southeast. So this is south, and here's southeast, so it's going to be a little bit more south than southeast towards Vicksburg. The wind is 10 knots. The speed is 10 knots, so it's one flag. The temperature at Little Rock is 71 degrees Fahrenheit, and the barometric pressure is 29.9, so it's 2 niner niner. Missouri, Columbia, Missouri. We go the next state north, or the chef's uh, uniform, his upper body. We Columbia is right in the center. And it is cloudy in Columbia, so you're going to fill that in. And then our wind direction is to the east. Wait, to the southeast. So here's 
uh, south and here's east, so it's going to be kind of towards advance. Our wind speed is 5, so we're going to put one half a flag. Our temperature is 56, and our barometric pressure is 29.8 or 298. Okay, and Columbia's done. Next is Des Moines, Iowa's, Iowa, sorry, and it is partly cloudy in Des Moines. So we make, or, or Des Moines is in the chef's head around his ear area. It's partly cloudy, so we're going to color in half of it. The air is from the east, the wind is from the east, so we're going to make it towards Molina east. And we have a five knot wind, so it's going to be half a flag. The temperature is 41, and the barometric pressure is 298, or 29 point, or I don't want to put the point, 29 or 8 or 29.8, but we don't put the decimal point. Next, we're going to go North Platte, Nebraska, so we're going one state to the west, North Platte's down here, make our circle, okay? It is clear there, we don't have to fill in the circle. The wind is coming from the north, northeast, so north, and here's east, so that would be uh, just, this is northeast, so just north of northeast, it's going to be slightly more east than Valentine. And it is five knots, the wind speed is five knots. The temperature in North Platte is 44, and the barometric pressure is 29.6, or 29 or 6. Next, we are looking at Birmingham, Alabama. We come down to the chef's boots, and we go straight across two states, and a little bit up, and here's Birmingham, Alabama. Birmingham, Alabama is partly cloudy. We are, the, the wind is coming from the south, southeast, so south, and this is southeast, so it's kind of a little bit um, more south than Montgomery, okay? Our wind speed in Birmingham is 15 knots, so it's a flag and a half. We are at 61 degrees, and... We do have a barometric pressure of 30.1, so it's 301, and Birmingham is finished. Next, we're going to go up to Lexington, Kentucky, which is right up here. Where if we have the chef's platter, we have the chicken, Kentucky Fried Chicken, and Lexington, Kentucky is up there. I'm not telling you to get Kentucky Fried Chicken. I don't endorse it, nor have any stock in the company. So it's going to be cloudy in Lexington. Okay, uh, our wind is coming from the north, northwest, so north is this way, west is this way. It's kind of going to go a little north of Indianapolis. Our speed is 10 knots, so we're going to put one flag. Temperature is 49, and the barometric pressure is 30.1 or 301. Okay, and then, you now we're almost finished. We're down to Clayton, New Mexico. Clayton's kind of hard to fi find because it's smudged. It's just right here. If we find the top of Texas and go across, we find Clayton here. We make our circle. It's clear, so we leave the circle blank. Our wind direction is west-northwest, so here's north, there's west, and it's west-northwest, so it's kind of going towards Durango. Our... Wind speed is 15 knots, so we have a flag and a half. Our temperature is 46, and our barometric pressure is 29.8 or 29 or 8. We don't put the decimal point. Okay, so that's the first half of our video, part one of our video of weather mapping. Uh, on part two, we're actually going to put in the uh, isotherms, the highs, the lows, the cold and warm air masses, and we're going to be able to tell where the warm front is and the cold front. So uh, tune in to part two if you want to see that. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.